The 2002 Zhang Yimou film Hero is well known for its compelling narrative and breathtaking visuals by cinematographer Christopher Doyle. In this video, however, I intend to break down the incredibly intricate sound design of the film in three aspects – genre, subconsciousness, and expressiveness. Overall, I will also analyze the narrative functions of the film's sound by examining part of a fight sequence between the main protagonist, Nameless, and his opponent, Long Sky or Sky in short. So let me drop you right into the action. Typical of the wuxia or martial arts action genre, sound effects in the fight scenes are highly stylized and exaggerated to orally intensify action. The technique of hyper detail is utilized to guide viewers' attention through the carefully choreographed scenes. However, Hero is also a historical drama piece and hence is punctuated with melodramatic scores by composer Tan Dun. Light and frequent patterns of raindrops can be observed right before the encounter of both characters. As Nameless halts Sky, a tense non diegetic score enters dramatically. Man! The dragging notes of the violin underscores the tension within the dialogue of characters, as Nameless reveals his intention to apprehend Sky. In the battle that ensues, sound effects are loudly concentrated on, as the atmospheric raindrops fade away under the heightened volume of the unsettling score. Sound effects such as footsteps in the puddles, drawing of the sword and sword slashes are sharp and loud, accompanied by the whooshing sound that comes from Nameless's slow motion advance. It is almost as if this sound design mirrors Sky's point of audition and awareness of the threatening advance getting nearer. The drumming in the score continues to highlight the unease of Sky against a powerful opponent. The weapon clashes and ringing reverberations of the spear are unnaturally loud. These sound effects allow the audience to gauge the force of the strikes and keep your eyes on the action. Music is interestingly and subconsciously used in this scene as the non diegetic score falls away abruptly for the character to request for diegetic music. As the sequence continues, Nameless's voiceover narration compares music to martial arts. This explicitly ties the musical motif to the action, which brings us to the next section where we dissect sound and storytelling layers. If you're wondering who Nameless is talking to in this scene, it is to the Qin Emperor Qin Shi Huang. The narrative structure of this sequence consists of three layers. One, the main storyline where Nameless tells the story of his encounter of Sky to Qin Shi Huang during an audience in the throne room. There, a gloomy room tone and the dialogue between Nameless and Qin Shi Huang dominates the soundscape, which illustrates us to Two, the flashback of his experience in the chess court. Nameless's external dialogues then overlap and become voiceover narration in the flashback as the constant raindrop orally takes the audience into the chess court. And three, the imaginary fight with Sky in their minds, which we will soon witness. The sound of Qing or the diegetic musical instrument, is audible in the flashback but overwhelms the imaginary fight visually encoded in black and white. The dominant soundscapes of these three layers orally informs the audience of the narrative layer on display. Back to action. The battle cry acts as a sound bridge into their state of mental warfare. Battle cries can be heard throughout the fight that seem to be emitted by the characters. 
However, if you read their lips, it is visibly apparent that they aren't screaming. This might be an added non diegetic sound element to intensify the movements of the characters. Raindrops can be heard from time to time as it punctuates the imaginary fight and grants us to the flashback. Moving on, Gu Qing music accompanies the action as the tempo quickens and tenses according to the intensity of the fight. This is due to the audiovisual association of the Gu Qing musical motif and the visual martial art choreography. When the Gu Qing string breaks and the music stops abruptly, so does the imaginary fight. Both characters continue their physical fight as non-diegetic score returns dramatically in the slow motion fight. The non-diegetic battle cries are heard once again as Nameless eliminates Sky and his spear. Following Nameless's loud sheathing of his sword, Sky's spear falls to the ground in a ting, followed by Sky's body falling in a loud thud, signaling their defeat. In conclusion, the sound design of this film deserves much attention apart from the cinematography. Despite conforming to the conventional wuxia and drama genre sound traits, it also breaks through by self-consciously utilizing music to intrigue viewers. The sound elements of mainly dialogue and voice of a narration propels the narrative forward by providing narrative information. However, the entire sound mix supports the sequence by functioning as an oral indication of the storyline layers, creating specific moods or intensifying the tension of the encounter to the audience.